Good morning. As of 8 o'clock last night, 28th of May, there have been two additional cases of COVID diagnosed in New South Wales in the previous 24 hours, bringing the total number of cases in New South Wales to 3,092. Yesterday, there were 9,962 tests carried out compared with 9,872 cases in the previous 24-hour period. Almost 4, 485,000 COVID tests have now been carried out in New South Wales, which is great. We need to keep testing numbers up. There are currently 78 COVID cases being treated by New South Wales Health. This includes one person being treated in intensive care who requires a ventilator. At least 2,666 people in New South Wales have recovered from COVID. Both new cases are overseas travellers in hotel quarantine. While the numbers are pleasingly low, recent cases acquired in the community indicate the virus is still likely to be circulating among people with mild symptoms. With the virus still present, the risk of outbreaks and a resurgence of cases remains. So we're urging anyone who feels unwell, even with the mildest of symptoms, such as a runny nose or scratchy throat, to come forward and get tested. So cases in the community are identified as quickly as possible and control measures put in place. And while restrictions have eased lately, it remains essential that everyone maintains social distancing to minimise the risk of spread between people. People can unwittingly pass it on to other people if they're incubating the infection or have very mild symptoms. So we all need to be very careful and practise hand hygiene and maintain social distancing by keeping at least one and a half metres away from other people. And if you're sick, stay at home, isolate yourself and get tested. Thank you.